Imagine a world where vehicles power themselves, effortlessly gliding through the streets without the need for gasoline or charging stations. Picture an engine that generates energy from its own surrounding environment, eliminating the need for external fuel sources. This vision of a self-sustaining transportation system is no longer confined to science fiction. It is the growing reality of today's technological innovation. Welcome to the fascinating world of self-powered engines and air engines. Two groundbreaking concepts that are set to revolutionize the way we think about energy and propulsion. From renewable energy to autonomous vehicles, both of these technologies hold the promise of transforming industries, reducing our dependence on fossil fuels, and mitigating the environmental impact of traditional propulsion systems. Today, we will embark on a detailed exploration of two of the most exciting propulsion technologies on the horizon, Chikambutso's self-powered engine and the air engine. We will dive deep into the working principles behind these engines, examine their real-world applications, and compare their respective strengths and weaknesses. By the end, you'll have a clearer understanding of how these technologies are shaping the future of energy, transportation and sustainability. To begin our discussion, let's first define what we mean by a self-powered engine. A self-powered engine refers to any system that can generate and utilize its own energy without the need for external fuel sources or constant recharging. These engines often rely on closed-loop systems, where the energy generated is continuously reused within the system itself. A common form of self-powered engines today includes fuel cells and thermoelectric generators. Self-powered engines work by harnessing energy from chemical reactions, heat differentials, or even environmental forces. In most cases, these engines rely on a mechanism where the energy produced through these processes is used to keep the system running without external intervention. One of the most notable examples of self-powered technology today is the fuel cell, particularly in electric vehicles (EVs). Fuel cells generate electricity through an electrochemical reaction, typically between hydrogen and oxygen, producing water as the only byproduct. The key here is that these cells can produce energy continuously as long as hydrogen is available, without needing to be recharged in the conventional sense, as batteries do. Another example of self-powered technology comes from thermoelectric generators TEGs. These devices convert heat energy into electrical energy by exploiting the Seebeck effect, where a temperature difference between two materials generates voltage. TEGs are used in a variety of applications, from powering remote sensors to enabling thermally powered gadgets. Self-powered engines are already making an impact across various industries. In the automotive industry, companies like Toyota and Honda have pioneered the use of fuel cells in hydrogen-powered vehicles. These vehicles run on hydrogen gas, which is chemically combined with oxygen in the fuel cell to produce electricity. The electricity powers the vehicle's motor, and the only emission is water vapor, making it a highly efficient and environmentally friendly alternative to conventional vehicles. In the realm of remote sensing and renewable energy, thermoelectric generators are playing a crucial role. TEGs are often used in off-grid applications to harness waste heat from industrial machinery, converting it into usable electricity. This technology is particularly valuable in remote locations where access to conventional power sources is limited. Despite their promise, self-powered engines are not without their challenges. One major limitation is the issue of energy density. For instance, fuel cells, while efficient, often struggle to match the energy density of conventional internal combustion engines or even lithium-ion batteries. This limits their range and effectiveness in certain applications, particularly in the transportation sector where energy requirements are high. Another challenge is the byproducts generated by these systems. While fuel cells produce clean energy, the process of hydrogen production itself, particularly through the electrolysis of water, 
can generate carbon emissions if not sourced from renewable energy. Additionally, TEGs, while effective in converting waste heat, often require high temperatures, which can restrict their efficiency in certain environments. Next, let's shift our focus to the air engine, a revolutionary technology that harnesses compressed air to produce mechanical energy. Air engines operate by taking in compressed air, which is then released through pistons or turbines to generate motion. These engines rely on the principle of compressed air energy storage, CAES, where air is stored under high pressure in tanks and released as needed to power the engine. At its core, an air engine converts the energy stored in compressed air into mechanical work. The process begins when air is compressed and stored in a reservoir. When the engine is activated, the stored air is released, passing through a set of pistons or turbines, which then convert the air's potential energy into mechanical energy, moving the vehicle or machinery. The significant advantage of air engines is that they can be powered by renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power, which can compress air without relying on traditional fuel sources. This makes air engines an exciting prospect for clean and sustainable propulsion systems. Air engines are already making strides in several areas. In the automotive industry, vehicles powered by compressed air have been demonstrated by companies such as Motor Development International MDI, and Zero Pollution Motors. These air-powered cars promise to reduce emissions significantly and provide an alternative to gasoline-powered vehicles. Though still in the experimental stages, air-powered vehicles have already been tested in various urban environments, demonstrating the potential for reducing pollution in crowded cities. In industrial settings, compressed air is widely used for powering tools and machinery. Air-driven pumps, drills, and compressors are commonly found in construction, manufacturing, and aerospace sectors. The efficiency of air engines in these settings has led to growing interest in developing more powerful and reliable air-powered systems. The future of air engine technology looks promising, with several advancements on the horizon. Research is focused on improving the storage capacity of compressed air systems to ensure they can store enough energy to drive vehicles or machinery over longer distances. Innovations in materials and tank designs are also being explored to increase the durability and safety of compressed air reservoirs. Air engines could also benefit from integration with other clean energy sources. For instance, solar or wind-powered compressors could be used to charge compressed air systems, creating a completely renewable cycle of energy generation and propulsion. Now that we have explored both the self-powered engine and the air engine in detail, it's time to compare them head-to-head. -head. Self-powered engine Self-powered engines such as fuel cells and thermoelectric generators are highly efficient at converting energy from chemical reactions or temperature differentials. However, their range is often limited by energy density, with fuel cells requiring large amounts of hydrogen for long distances. Air engine. Air engines, on the other hand, offer quick bursts of power, but the range of air-powered vehicles is typically shorter compared to those powered by traditional fuels or electric batteries. The energy density of compressed air is lower, meaning air-powered vehicles may require frequent recharging or refueling. Self-powered engine. Self-powered engines, particularly those using hydrogen fuel cells, are among the most environmentally friendly options available. They produce minimal emissions, often just water vapor. However, the challenge lies in the production of hydrogen itself, which can still have an environmental impact if not sourced sustainably. Air engine. Air engines have a clear advantage when it comes to environmental impact. As they operate using compressed air, the only byproduct is typically noise or heat, which can be minimized with proper engineering. Air engines do not generate harmful emissions, making them an ideal choice for environmentally conscious transportation solutions. Self-powered engine. These engines are ideal for applications requiring consistent high-energy output over extended periods. 
They are best suited for vehicles, remote sensing devices, and backup power systems. Air Engine Air engines excel in applications requiring intermittent bursts of power, such as in urban vehicles or industrial machinery. Their ability to work with renewable energy sources makes them a strong contender for sustainable, low-emission transportation solutions. In conclusion, both the self-powered engine and the air engine represent exciting advancements in propulsion technology. While they each have unique strengths and limitations, they offer promising solutions to some of the world's most pressing energy and environmental challenges. The future of propulsion lies in innovation, collaboration, and sustainability. As research continues to advance, both self-powered engines and air engines are likely to play crucial roles in shaping a cleaner, more energy-efficient world. Whether we see self-powered vehicles dominating the highways or air engines revolutionizing urban transportation, the future of propulsion looks incredibly promising. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of self-powered engines and air engines. As always, I encourage you to think critically, stay curious, and continue exploring these fascinating technologies. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your insights.